and welcome back to another video. This is not just any video, this is our 2022 Disneyland Paris Christmas vlog. I haven't been to Disneyland Paris since 2019 so I've been up bright and early, I've been so excited. Actually I don't think I've slept but I'm just going to do the odd checks now around the room and then we're going to Disneyland Paris. Plus, did I say that we were driving? The Christmas lights are shining oh so bright everywhere in this little town on this special night. hold on to this camera because it is so rocky I didn't expect this on the train I feel like I'm on a cruise ship but now we're sat on the train we're just about to get off but I thought I would update you on the process I honestly made it a lot harder in my head but it's so simple as soon as you pull up you do your check-in and you go on the screen answer a couple of questions and because we were a little bit early it did ask us did we want to get the earlier train so we clicked yes then you make your way over to passport control you do it twice you do it with the UK and France honestly I'm holding on to this camera for dear life then you pull off to one side you do like an x-ray of your car and then also they did a couple of swabs on the steering wheel and then you literally board the train so it's so simple and also if you are a little bit early and you don't get on the early train there is like a departures where it's got shops bars and restaurants I may be exaggerated maybe it's not got shops bars and restaurants but it has got stuff for you to go see and do but I didn't go into that one and then you're on the train for 30 minutes and then you're in France and now we're just about to disembark disembark is that the right word Geth? yeah yeah right we're gonna disembark and we're gonna make our three-hour journey down to Disneyland Paris Gethin, just remember now got to turn right we got to go on the right hand side let's follow the car front to give you an idea how rocky this train is look at the car in front can you see on the camera? I don't know if he's going to pick it up, but we are rocking from left to right. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. So on the first toll you just grab the ticket, in the second toll then I believe you pay. 
I will let you know on that one. It will be in French. <laughs> oh, is it English? I don't know what it is though. 15 minutes into the car journey, we got this toll ticket. We have now been driving two hours and we still not found anywhere to pay this, so I have no clue. But the journey so far has been okay. When you get off at the Euro Tunnel, you've just got to navigate to get on the main road, and then once you're on the main road, it has been straight. But I will definitely keep you updated on when and how I pay this ticket. Two hours later and we finally found the tolls. Two hours after you first get your ticket, then you reach the second toll. Now I ended up paying 23 euros 40 cents and in the end I did pay by card because if you're paying cash, you have to get out your car and go to the very top of the machine. I don't have my shoes on and I've got everything on top of my feet. It just would have been such a palaver, but I did end up paying on card and it was very straightforward and grab a receipt just in case. Take the A3 E15 exit towards A104. Oh, first sign of Disney. Yeah, we want to be going on the right, Geth, because otherwise you're going to end up in the centre of Paris if you go left. No, <laughs> no I don't think so either. Oh, so easy. You're going to come in in your pyjamas, you? The kids jumped in the car this morning in their pyjamas, but we're going to go check in now. I've got one in a... Mario onesie. I've got another one in a skeleton pajamas and Tyler's in shorts and t-shirt and it's absolutely Baltic. Right, let's go find reception, shall we? How cool is this? Let's go to the park. How cool. Look how big the site is though. Oh, that is reception. Oh, there's reception. That's where we're going. It's not a barn, can't do it was reception. We've just been to go collect our park passes. We couldn't check into the cabin until four o'clock. So we're gonna get the boys changed now in the car, which is gonna be a mission in itself. And then we're gonna head over to the Disney parks and I'm gonna get a hat, glove, scarf, everything on cause it is freezing, absolutely freezing. Coat, please. Whew. Shall I tell you a little story about coats? Shall I tell them get in? <laughs> an hour into our journey yesterday, we stayed overnight down in Folkestone, but an hour into the journey, Gethin said to me, Sir, you did pack my coat, right? Why would I pack your coat? Can That's you your work? responsibility. <laughs> I had three other people to look after. I so yes, work. of all the places Gethin could have forgot his coat, it was here. So we had to make a stop in Asda's yesterday to get him a coat. 23 quid! 23 van. But I am gonna, actually, I'm gonna stop talking and get this coat on because it's freezing. We gotta remember, Bambi 14. It feels so strange, because we've never driven to Paris before and parked in their car park. It's a bit like Florida in a way. Here I don't fall now, Tart Carter, before we get there. But, whew, it's cold. Right, are we gonna do the studios first or the park first? We all know we want to. Actually, it's a silly question. Every time we come here, the first ride we have to do, that is tradition, and it's Buzz. Our first ride's gotta be Buzz. Geth, it's my song on the radio with a shovel and a stick and a walking pick. If you watch my Florida vlogs, you'll know that song when we were on mine train, I sang the completely wrong words. Oh my goodness, we've just seen a Grinch car. That must have took hours. How cool is that? believe the last time we were here was 2019. I have missed this place. No, you gotta go up Main Street, not the tunnel. Yeah. What do you think the wait time is gonna be for Buzz? Let's have a guess. I think 30 minutes. What do you say? 60? Wait, I hope it's not 60. 30 minutes. But the queue is all the way out. It looks more than 30 minutes. It's still going, the queue. Let's join it here. It's literally just changed though to 45. Yeah, it's a tradition, we've got to do this ride first. 
I was just looking at the access price for this ride. Nine euros per guest. Um, I think I rather queue. Autopia, five euros. Indiana Jones, five euros. I, oh my gosh, Gerd. Hyperspace is 13 euros. That was about 45 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, but the queue was continuously moving. And inside now, there is no queue. I will beat you. I'm winning it, I'm winning! No, don't tell him my secrets! I got it there. I am. now because I didn't just beat him I literally tripled his score okay, you cheated, okay. <laughs> he's saying I cheated I didn't cheat I just beat him what have you seen Carter oh Carter's already seen the stitch there's loads of stitch stuff they're, they're huge they're nice aren't they how much is that out of curiosity you reckon? 50. Gethin's favourite ride is closed. It's a small world. He's devastated. No sarcasm in that whatsoever. It's not open actually till next year. But it's now half past two and none of us have really eaten. We've had like pancakes and waffles so we're all really hungry. We were going to stop at Bella Noches just over there. I think that's what it was called. Bella Noche? Bella Noches. It does like Mickey pizzas. But that's got a queue coming out the door. So we're going to go back to Main Street and see if we can get something. Or maybe a Kuna Matata maybe. Kuna Matata. That's it. <laughs> are we going to stop here, are we? Oh, they got big cookies, look. Oh, got oh and they've got the pineapple whip. Like in Florida. Oh my gosh, it's um, Dole Whip. It's the nicest ice cream ever. Might have to get it. Oh, you will. Um, should we get the chicken? Should we get chicken chip, chicken bites and Lay's crisps? 12 euros for a Coke, a crisps and chicken. Definitely in Disney now. I'm not gonna lie, I was moaning about the price but they taste so good. They're outstanding up there, they? Wow. No wonder I took so long. They're like chicken balls from a Chinese. I honestly thought a Wednesday would be quiet in the park. It is actually really busy, but I'm so glad that we found that little snack place. We were going into Kuna Matav, but the queue was horrendous. So we just tried there to grab a quick snack because later we're gonna hopefully go to the Rainforest Cafe. And I'm so glad I found that place because them chicken nuggets were amazing. Bye. <laughs> hey. Right, should we go do, I think we're gonna go do Pirates next, yeah? Yes. I really want to try it, but the menu is not too good. Wrestles and scoundrels, winners and knaves, and he got me on his yahoo. The devils and blacks, you are really bad eggs, and he got me on his yahoo. Are they good suits? Oh, really? <laughs> that is one cool ship. And I like the fireplace too. Jack Skeleton's there. He's one of the best meet and greets we've ever had. It is getting so cold. My nose is about to drop off. But who remembers from the Florida vlogs? Watch your step. Watch your step. Haunted Mansion is next. Welcome, curious friends. It is so nice to have guests. It appears everyone is doomed at Phantom Manor. Even you. And notice this. 
This chamber has no windows and no doors. Well, they don't like to clean in here, do they? Look at the cobwebs! The yoki is Shut it, you! So, la marche what you step, les sacs aux seuls bags on the floor, please. She said it! Watch your step! Well, she didn't say it like that this time, but... I've never seen that before. Good news. Look. Can you see the doll on the lamp? Your tour at once. Oh, he took his head off, Carter. That's freaky. It is, isn't it? Yay! I got watch your step. I've gone blue on camera. It's gone dark, Bill. Okay, I gotta admit that one is better than Florida. There's different things. That one, hands down, better than Florida. Right, I'm starving now. I haven't really eaten. I had one of their chicken nuggets earlier. Four. You, you, I didn't have four, you liar. <laughs> I didn't two have four. I didn't. I had one chicken nugget. Mm. I've been awake since three o'clock in the morning and I, now it is six o'clock and I've had one nugget. So we're going to go for food. Rainforest or Planet Hollywood? Rainforest. Rainforest? Yeah. Rainforest? I think I want steak and mash. I say that when I get there, I'll probably end up having something completely different. I didn't expect there to be a parade when we came out, but we're not doing that today. We're gonna to do that tomorrow because we are so hungry. But um, I think everyone's got the same idea now. We were trying to beat the crowds to the restaurant, but look, everybody's leaving now. It felt like the longest walk ever when you're hungry. But finally, we have made it to the Rainforest Cafe. Last time I came here, I had the fajitas, they were really nice. Okay. And I had them in Florida. <gasps> There's too many choices. This isn't good when you're so hungry. Just so you know, if you've got kids under 11, they can do a meal deal for 16 euros. They get a main course, a dessert, and a drink. Cheers. I don't know whether to get one of these as my mains to get a steak or to get the fajitas I'm really undecided it's literally when the waiter turns up I'm just gonna have to say whatever comes first you're so kind to give me your dessert it does look lovely I gotta be honest, the French know how to make a dessert. To give you an idea of what it costs for a family of five to eat in the rainforest cap, 113 euros. To be honest, that's like half the price of any Disney restaurant in the park. I can't see anything. We've got to find the lights first. Right, I'm gonna do a quick room tour before the boys mess everything up because it's now late. But we got a full-on kitchen with a dishwasher, toaster, kettle and a coffee maker and microwave. And I'm assuming there's like pots and pans. There was nothing in that one. In this one? Nope, nothing in there. <laughs> Maybe there isn't any pots and pans. Oh, there we are. They have got some. So you've got all your utensils and plates and stuff up there. A sofa. I'm assuming there's like a Disney Channel on there. Ooh, light. Let me go put the key in the light. Hold on, two seconds. You've got the master bedroom. Honestly, I feel like I'm in Banff in Canada. It's got such a woodland theme, it's unbelievable. Oh, and you've got Mickey's on the bed. And then you've got an ensuite with a shower, pretty decent sized shower as well. And then, if I just walk all the way across the kitchen, we have a fridge and freezer. What's in here? Oh, the boys have actually got their own shower room. Oh, that's good. I won't have to fight over the shower. <laughs> so they've got their own shower, sink, and they give you towels as well. What's in here? Oh, another toilet. And at the end of the cabin then, we've got three 
single beds and again they've got the Mickey print on them there's a lot of sockets you've got sockets here and here and then they have a cupboard as well and also I can feel the heat already coming out of the radiators which is a winner especially how cold it is today I'm gonna definitely check out what channels we got on the TV oh I wonder if I can put coats in here oh there is a rail Oh, there's a rack and a dustpan and brush. I have actually found a better place to hang all the coats. In the master bedroom, you've got hangers and also a safe. That was a very quick room tour, but I will be showing you a lot more of the resort. It's just we are super tired now. So we're going to get everything in from the car, kind of get set up a little bit, have a shower, go to bed. We are hoping to do magic hours tomorrow. I'm hoping, I can't see it happening, but I'm gonna finish the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see our part two, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell for post notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh,